Good morning. Good morning. Um, it's day 10 or 11, I, I don't know. Um, we're outside Sellingham Ferry Inn, uh, where last night we met up with um, Gav and Dawn. And um, we had a very nice meal and a considerable amount of alcohol. Um, but it was just a very, very good evening. Um, so lots of talking, lots and of lots of talking, lots of laughing. Um, now there's lots of coffee. Um, our intentions were today, we were actually going to leave here today and head back to Loddon. Um, but uh, Gavin Dawn are here for the weekend, so we've decided probably foolishly that we are going to leave here tomorrow morning and head back on Sunday uh, and attempt to try and moor the boat ourselves on Sunday. <laughs> well, I would always ask Richard if he's in. Yeah. So, um, anyway, that aside, we're, um, well, we're going to go for a walk today. So it'd be really nice if you could, uh, come and join us. So, um, I'm just going to take a walk outside now and see what uh, everyone else is up to. Uh, right. How do you feel? I feel fine. How do I feel? I don't know. How do you feel? How do I look? More to the question. I look a bit tired. <laughs> Coffee. Wonder drug. Dog's best alarm clock you'll ever have. Oh, crikey. Well, for you, I mean, I did feel them kicking me, but... No, you didn't. You haven't taken them once in the whole time we've been away. I have once. I've taken them once. What in the morning? Yeah. Wherever they are, they've gone back to sleep now. Right. See you in a minute. Well, I don't know how much I had to drink last night, but look, the flybridge covers off. So, if I get blamed for that. It wasn't me. You know I'd put it back on. But, um, look, there's Gavin Dawn's bow. I'm going to show you. See, look, fellow YouTuber. He's been up bright and breezy this morning. He's been doing droning. He's been doing droning this morning. Droning? Droning. Uh, I droning. Droning. Good morning. Catch up. Right, so, um, the, so it's what seven thirty. Oh, I haven't got a clue. I've, 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 it's, it's, some YouTuber has just turned up at the back of my boat. This is it. I just thought I'd come in and and point to my camera. Well, phone in actual fact, because I could. I can't be bothered to get the, the camera out. So. Uh, He's now coming to say, "Can I have some drone shots on my website?" <gasps> what a cracking idea! <laughs> Funny old thing that. <laughs> Happened to be just as a moment they, oh. they it, it autonomously flew around the sky, it, uh. um, you know, and it didn't fall in the river this time or the sea, which the last one. <laughs> yeah, that's how. So I've only I've only ever had two. The, the first one, um, the, as the drone was up, it um, as it was landing, I put my hand out to catch it, turned round and caught my finger in the blade. So um, in temper, I hit the thing and it hit the tree and. Well, that was no more. And then the, the second one went in the water. So, yeah. So, so the seals have one of mine. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> My I brothers were killing it. themselves laughing when that happened. Uh, it's when you when you can when you can see it happening and you've got the footage happening of it. You're like, oh dear. So. Well, it was the footage I lost. Oh. Uh, I had the low grade downgrade downloader, and, uh, and it was spectacular footage. <laughs> and I looked at it. I thought. I was more gutted that I lost my SD card and footage and then I lost the uh, thing. And my filling fell out last night. Oh no! <sighs> but luckily, being a good paramedic, I had some Fuji with me. <laughs> so I'm going to do a temporary kit. Oh, look at this. Look at He's going to fix his teeth. Yeah. I couldn't be trusted. I yeah, I just couldn't be trusted. So um, I love it because there's like remnants of alcohol. 
Is the remnants it? of something. I, I'm not quite sure that I remember. We, I'm certainly not drinking as much today. No, at least Lisa actually said, I just said to Lisa, how much did I have to drink? She went, I'm not answering that. She said, how much? I said, did we have a dessert? She went, oh, you really did drink too much, didn't you? <laughs> the, the, the thing is, the thing is, I think it's just always first night, first day, we always have a few. And yeah. then today, a, a couple, couple of beers with dinner tonight, yeah. that's it. Sensible. You know, that's sensible. Really sensible, different day. It's not an all day drinking event today. No, 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 I can't, no, I couldn't, I couldn't, no, no it's, my brain that. wouldn't take it, so. Uh, new rule today, not talking shop today. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've just been told that, ironically. <laughs> 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 it's on, it's on the foot. <laughs> Having said that, you could probably pass a course now, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Could yeah. You could. Be, you could be a parent NCA. now. Yeah. 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 We're only ECAs. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. My new career. Yeah. Join the club. Yeah. So. <laughs> I've just. I've just said. Look, the um. The flybridge cover is off. And. Um, huh? At least your fender last night to stop you spin loving on the. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I think Gav's at the front of the boat. And he's just like, he is at the front of the boat. <laughs> I, I, I shouted to you, I'm, I'm moving the because the photograph was resting on the, uh, oh. on the wood. Thank you, you're a gentleman, sir. So I just rearranged the front of the boat and it's just to take into account. Anyway, oh, hey, excellent. What? Trish, what are you doing? Scratching the hell out of the boat. Oh, what? To go out, oh, morning poo. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> uh, well yes. I mean, the thing is, you've got to say it as it is. <laughs> right, we've decided that before breakfast, my duck poo, before breakfast, we're going to go and have a little walk. Um, so I've got no idea where we are. But it's a, it's very nice. I think we, I think we might return here. So this is what this is what we're seeing. Look at this. Well, it's um, it has just gone nine o'clock, um, and you can feel the heat. You can feel the heat coming up already. It's going to be a scorching hot day. Um, there's some some runnists. That's, that looks like really? looks like activity. So, so yeah, so we're going to go for a walk later, um, do a bit of exploring. Um, as I say, we've uh, we've deliberately come here to meet up with. Hang on, let's turn it back around. Yeah, we've we, we have um, deliberately come here to meet up with um, uh, Gavin and Dawn from uh, Love Life Love Boat. Um, they're a lot more experienced than uh, myself and Lisa and uh, Gavin is a very competent uh, sailor. So um, it's just really nice to talk to people who've got that experience and can sort of give you guidance and point you in the right direction. So I say the, the plan today is we're gonna go for a walk with them and they're gonna show us around the local area, which is, uh, which is rather nice. Um, they've got a dog as well, Hamish. He's <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> he weighs more than both of our Oh yeah. So he's, he, honestly, he, yeah. But he's so good. He's so good. He, uh, mind you, he jumped on the, he jumped on the chair um, whilst I was sitting on their boat, and um, I, it's like I'd um, put on a few kilograms in weight rather rapidly because he's a uh, he's a big boy they're dirty feet though, aren't they? they're dirty feet oh i wondered if this was a road road because that's gonna let me know all right so there's a car coming oh so there's a car coming there's a car coming in yeah well, it must be a road road because it leads down to the pub doesn't yeah, it yeah so all right so let's we're gonna find somewhere to step into so this is a road road as you can see people will be coming in for breakfast uh, there you go, look, there's uh, Betsy who's determined to do her own thing. Oh, what a cool registration. So it's... Uh, seared car and it was Tigo Seat, which is obviously Tango 
505 EAT. This is, this is just off of, literally off of the water, all this. So interesting, what a brilliant name for a boat, Kerno Lady. I said uh, as it went past earlier that it had the St Piran's flag on. So I wonder what part of Cornwall he's from. Oh, look at that. John's having a huge meal. Oh. And uh, well, he's uh, going for a full-on vegetarian. Uh, it's what, what, you, for some reason, I've got a giant breakfast. Look at that. See, look, I feel, I feel really unhealthy now because you're having toast. And, like, Lisa's just loaded me up with extra fried bread. And... Oh. Toast. He always has a big breakfast. Yeah, it's, it's a given. Normal breakfast. It's a given. Normal. Right. So, so, just have a breakfast, quick breakfast conversation. Tell yeah. me about how you got into boating. Many years ago, because of dad, um, as a child, I spent all of my life, all a holiday life, on the broads. So, anyway. so this is um, this is post carnage. Um, oh. How you feeling, mate? Fat. Yes, I know the feeling. I'm like, and you've been really good. You've just done toast. It's like daily meal for her. Toast and lunch. Uh, daily meal. Yeah, not so for me. Yeah. <laughs> you ate all your sausages. No, I didn't. Oh, spell, spell. <laughs> and I've left the normal amount, which is normal for me. You've eaten quite a lot, actually. You sound a fat? No, I just said you're eating a lot. <laughs> you're a feeder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a feeder. I was really skinny when I first met him. He is a feeder. Oh. If you're eating, you want me to eat. Of course I do. Yeah. He can't eat alone. No. So if you see a lot of our footage, no matter where we go, the first thing we do is go and get something to eat. As soon as we arrive, yeah. we say, well, you have to watch us eat now, and then we'll show you. And then we'll walk around. Yeah. Watch this bloke running after some dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if, if, oh I, I'm, I'm, I'm shame I missed that. Because yeah. one minute you were there, the next minute you were gone. Do you want to? Do you want to tell everyone what happened? No. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was me running after a dog. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. Dog, yeah. dog doesn't want to walk. Dog sits down. Dog refuses to walk. I pick dog up. Dog walks thirty feet all over me. <laughs> I put dog down. Dog reverses that harness and then runs away twenty yards at a time. Every time I catch up with dog, dog runs another 20 yards. He's almost taunting me going, come on, fat boy. That's his, <laughs> his match on those feet. Come on. Anyway, several hundred metres later, <laughs> when I finally managed to catch him and put him back, he then refuses to walk again. So I end up carrying him again. Carrying him again. And then he decides to have the, I'm going to have a poo with no poo. Ah, uh, no, that whole. Yeah. I'm just. I'm wait. just. Pre I'm just pretending. I'm just pretending. I'm having a good. Yeah. Thing. I don't think it's any coming. Um, so, at that, and then so I pick him up again, worrying, is this going to be the moment where? <laughs> the moment of glory. <laughs> anyway, got him back. He's in his cage. He's locked up, <laughs> and I've had breakfast. Yeah. So he's got a sausage. So he better bloody pay for the rest of the day. Otherwise, I'm going to show him how a shotgun works. <laughs> I never said that, did I? No, I won't do that. I'm much kinder than that. Oh dear. So we've um no, I'll set him free and he can just run free. Well, we've we've left out two on the boat for yes. the first time ever. I'm getting to the anxious level, right? Yeah, I'm just worried what the boat's gonna look like so when you we get the cushions you've got there. Yeah. yeah. I know I know we want to get it reupholstered, but one of three things is gonna happen here, aren't they? Either nothing's happened and the dogs are just gonna make home and be nice and cozy. Mm. Option two is your pillows are all now fully pregnant. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You've got female dogs, it's probably not the same case as mine. Yeah. You know, our dog just loves a good cushion. You know, yeah. It's just one of those things. It's yeah. like, yeah. he can get his feet around enough like that. <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> Option three, that re upholstery project has begun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing I've ever helped. I yeah. started yeah. taking the old off. Oh, I love it. Well, there is an option four, which is they've done a nervous, anxious we everywhere. They just made it their own. You, you, you first on the boat. Right, we'll be back when we're back out in the sunshine. So this is um, this is nice to see. This is the Ranger. Um, has actually moored up and is got a hedge trimmer out and is cutting the grass. So, but it's just really nice to be uh, moored up here with um, Gav and Dawn from uh, Love Life, Love Boat. Um, and if you haven't seen their channel, I'm gonna stick a link below. You really need to to, to watch because um, Gary and I have just been discussing, you know, how we all change our, how we film and how we vlog. But I've just said to Gavin, do not change what you do because you're informative. Yeah, yeah, that, I'm afraid that wouldn't work with us. We, I, because I, I'll just edit it and make sure I'm just going thinner and thinner until I end up in like going on videos. It's the same video. I just look a lot thinner. Everybody else really thin. I look like. Sorry. So you know, so your your channel is really informative, um, and. See, I wouldn't want anything that big. <laughs> if you tell me I can spend £150,000 on a boat, I will. Probably, probably That's a broom 450. Yeah, it's a broom 450. I've seen this one in the market at the moment. 329, I think. Yeah, no, it's... No. So more modern, modern version, that, I think. No, I think if I am going to get another... I'd like a... I like Sea Lane because you... You get so much more for your buck. So... Well, no, I would never do anything without your authority, dear. So, is it, um, is it? Yeah. Uh, is it is it time for alcohol? It is beer o'clock. I think it's a clip like you the ramp site off of I think I will go and get us some beers. It's beer o'clock, everybody. Excellent stuff. Just put this down, and I'm going to go and get some beers. Ah, oh, beer o'clock. In fact, so. I'm going to set up the doggy cam for a little while. There we go. On there. Thank you. On there. You're on the um, moot cider, are you? I'm on cider. Oh, cider. Yeah, cider. Is this where you start singing the browsers? Show me. Lost years. Ready? I see, Ready? For what, I thought he was going to do like frisbee with that then. I didn't do what? Yeah. Watch the beer. <laughs> and I can't. Can't go hard what do you reckon? Wrong. Go on, you can do it. Do you reckon I can do that? Go on, do it. Do it. Uh, Some people do it. It looks remarkably easy. Yeah. Mine's is pretty heavy tray. Whoa, nearly. Nearly. Yes. Look at that. Stop it. In trouble. Spoil oh. you. Whenever you see people do things, sort of like little things like that, you have to think, I'm going to learn how to do that. you got a knot in it. 
how we are just it was easy, you just had to unfrit it. You wanted to go under the table, you can take them on this little thing. Okay. Right. Ah, so we're on a walk. And we're gonna go and see the the grave of Ted Ellis. Ted Ellis. Ted Ellis uh buried near Wheatley Broad. And uh, Ted was uh, a great environmentalist. Yeah. And very passionate about the area and the whole protected area of Wheatland Broad, which is uh, under the care of both Broadway Society and National Trust, is still a working environmental area um, of special scientific interest. It's a really lovely area. Oh, right. And he wants to be buried near to a cottage where he used to live. Yeah. Um, I'm not entirely sure where that cottage, which cottage that was. However, yeah. Um, we'll go and see the remains of. So let me show you. Underneath here was a reeded broad, effectively. It's not, yeah. it's not a water way. It's a reeded. Yes. Reeded broad. And this whole area forward here is one of the unique areas of the broads that people forget. Oh right. Um, that is a let cottage, holiday let. So you come past here sometimes and there's a nice walking path. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. What are you doing, Hamish? Hey. Oh, there's a hole there. So the joys of having a YouTuber who does it right with you who has uh, is a mind of information which is really good so these are the remains of St Saviour's St Saviour's yeah yeah um church which you can't see from here obviously it's uns an unsafe structure you can't really see it and I don't want to go um anywhere I shouldn't I don't know how far back we can go here without getting stung But this is where Ted was buried and his grave. Um, there are still gravestones here. So, 2016. So, there are still gravestones here. Let's take you down to Ted's. And there you go. There is the grave of Ted Ellis. So, so there are. Oh, Phyllis. Ah! Hey, I wonder if that's his wife. Yeah, I would assume that that is Ted's wife. Um, it looks like there has been better headstones here but this unless you knew this was here um you would you would walk straight past it but uh remains of the church right what can you remember has just been said well, about st saviors okay um, well, it was, all the foundations were from Norman times, yeah. so uh, 11th century. Um, it was used by the parish of Serlingham and uh, St. Saviour's. Mm -hmm. Went into decline around the 1700s due to the people transitioning to other parishes, yeah. um, looking for work, presumably. Um, and uh, sadly, it uh, declined to this point where it's no longer used as a church, but it's got heritage status now, did you say, or pre preservation? Uh, yeah, status? so, uh, yeah, from uh, the 1100s, it, uh, it got taken under the abbeys of uh, Carrow in the 1300s, uh, and around about 2011, um, the structure was preserved. Um, and by that, it was, I guess, stabilised and just a as you see fenced off and, yeah. and protected where's carrow then i've never heard of uh, it's a carrow road norwich carrow, city ground norwich city football oh, right. okay 
Yeah. Did you say Carrow City? City? Did you say Carrow City? Sit, sit, Norwich City? Did you say or Carrow? Oh, sorry, um, I, I misheard there. Yeah. <laughs> Ipswich. I'm going to go in So yeah, but it's it, it is a lovely place to have uh, the poignance that it has with Ted's grave, his wife's grave, yeah. and some of the other par parishioners who who have settled here. And say so it's definitely. It's, if you didn't know, you wouldn't know that this yeah. was here, and it is. We, we love Stoke Road and stuff like this. And I mean, you said we have walked, well, Brundle, when we walked Brundle, we were walking. We walked a long time, time to, through a field, um, uphill to get to the church, which on a winter's day must have been desolate, yeah. I would have thought. Yes. Yeah. So um, maybe a chance to think about looking for forgiveness as you're walking up to the church in horrible weather i don't know yeah part of your penance was actually getting there yeah yeah in the winter so and one of the places i visited on a boat uh which undoubtedly will do you go to the river deben deben is beautiful it's, mm. it's a great journey uh, one of the round tower churches there at ramsholt is protected it's beautiful mm. and dating back from a similar era as well um within this area we've got a number of round tower churches which are really um particular to to east anglia as uh, round tower churches so they are quite interesting and they tell a story which doesn't have the relationship that we have with churches today because churches were governance yeah they were the you they were the collector of taxes effectively yeah, yeah. Uh, with tithes um and so when the parishioners moved from here You'll, you'll probably find that part of that was a like a decision within the diocese to to move that collection process or to move that yeah to another area and so it was neglected and slowly fell into rack and ruin but i think it's beautiful i love the i love the ruins the here thing, the other thing that we've noticed is that when, when the first church we visited really was at cantley wasn't it mm. and the the small stone Still, small stone structure, all made of small stone. Flint, not... uh, Flint being the, the the predominant stone yeah. of East Anglia. Yeah. Um, yeah. So many of these flints yeah. would have come from, probably from Suffolk rather than Norfolk. So the flint uh, would have probably come from Thetford area, from Breckland area. Yeah. Not too far away. And the interesting thing is, uh, we talk about missing waterways and missing links. Yeah. Those links were not too far away from some of the links on these waterways because mm. you, you'll find that Thetford has a lovely waterway that went through it and um, it, you just wonder where the stone came from yeah and then you look at the brickwork the brickwork is probably dating back to uh, 15 1600s where yeah. you've got the brick arches being built yeah. and that would have been probably soft Suffolk or Norfolk brick um closest brickworks to here wouldn't have been too far away would have been up uh near Horsey yeah um brickworks obviously in norwich as well yeah so predominantly red clay um and you'll see that some of the rivers you'll see some of the rivers are red, red. when you yes. look at the colors and that's the red clay that would have been dug for for bricks because predominantly where we're standing now is peat yeah <laughs> so it's slightly slightly different and that was i mean you said it was very very similar to french um the round church is anything that is built in a in a circular would have come from french design originally yeah. So, um, which obviously the Normans would have brought that with them. Yeah. I say, I just, I am, um, when you said, oh, quickly, let's just divert up here, I was like, oh, oh, I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, oh, and and okay. a very peaceful place to sit and oh, just spend some time, time. and, and yeah. reflect. Yeah, even though the dogs are sort of doing their own thing, um, it is very, it's very relaxing. I'd like, as I say, I'd like to see some aerial shots. So. I forgot the drone. Uh. <laughs> Next time. Next time. So I've kind of uh, walked up from between. Uh, well, well, it's, it's, people have made a footpath. Um, we try to get a little bit of a better view. You can actually see the arch better from here. That. Uh, Gavin was talking about. You can actually see the outside wall from here. Admittedly, it is overgrown, but you can see it. 
and it is you can see the you know where they have tried to preserve it they have put uh they put some bricks in to sort of stop it crumbling even more. But this is so nice to see. So this is St. Saviour's, um, and this is where Ted Ellis uh, is buried, along with his wife. Well, so we've, we've, it, walked, no, we've walked a little bit further. Um, and there's another circular tower. Uh, I don't know what the name of this church is, I'll find out. But um, you just said... Um, this, in France, well, in Brittany, Normandy, Yeah. Um, all the churches have got these round towers. Yeah. So I'm assuming when the Normans came here, they brought their architecture with them. Uh, the only thing I would say is that very top bit is different. You can see where the line is. Yeah. Um, that looks more anglified, doesn't it, with the with the windows? Yeah. But below that would have been uh, a Rohan sort of yeah church, round church. So, um, I mean, this church looks like it's been added to over the years, anyway, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. That top bit doesn't look right, does it? No. Should we go walk around the front of it just see what the name of the church well, is? Does Gav know where we've gone? So this is St Mary's Church. Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks like the top bit's been added onto, doesn't it? So yeah, I can't I can't say I've seen a church like that, but it does definitely look like it it's been added onto, definitely, and windows have been sealed up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you, as Not you say, sympathetically, no. really. As you say, if you look at the actual outside of it, the, you can see it's been extended and made bigger. Well, this this very frontage. Yeah. It would have been the original, wouldn't it? Yeah. Not that bit on the side there, but to the left. But it is obviously still in use. So. When you see a name in a local area that you've never heard of before, there's a woman down there called Doris Bintcliffe. And um, you just think, oh, is that an old Norfolk name? Yeah. You've never, I've never heard of I it. I've never heard of it. I think he's about somewhere. We'll have to find the book him. that Lisa is reading at the moment. Um, Mentions Worryman's Worryman's Way. Um, and Rockland Broad, Coldham Hall, Ted Ellis Nature Reserve, three and a quarter miles. Why is Horsey Mare then? Horsey Mare. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I can't lie. Using the French name for a bit of, for a bit of water, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we've just seen a notice that says, says access to the gun club only. I don't know where the gun club is, but I'll take it, it's down there. Well, this is where we've been, so we've got to go back this way. Yep, we appear to have lost uh, Gavin somewhere. Ah, there he is, he's coming this way. He's coming this way. So I, I like the church. That's um, the round tower thing. It's interesting. I say, as you said, you know, it's Norman, so it's it's it's, it's been adapted from the French, hasn't it? So. Uh, fancy seeing you here. So this is the 
Selingham Land Spring Outfill Secondary. It is. Yes. Yeah. No swimming. Deep water, vertical drop. It's like vacation. There's a newer version of like <laughs> this is natural, isn't it? <laughs> natural. Good for your skin. So we've just been up to the church. I'm it's very interested the bit, uh, in, the, in the round tower. Um, but, you know, Lisa said you can actually see that the top of it has been sort of extended, built on. It just it doesn't sit right with yeah. the rest of it. They haven't done it very sympathetically. No. St Martin's, I think it's called. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not, um, I mean, there's it's been alterations to it and it looked like someone has gone out for the day and gone, we'll just, we'll just chuck some bricks in there. I don't know, the shape of the windows and things, I think they tried to anglify it. Yeah. So, um, and they couldn't change a round into a square. As so in Anglican church? Yeah. Yes. Sorry, as in, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, but it, it, it does look... It's been very unsympathetically done, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, so, I, I'm imagining all of this region yeah. would have spoken French back in the day. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, as you said, most of most of the most of England would have spoke French. Well, in Henry VIII's time, it, it was probably the first time. English was spoken at Royal Court more than French. All right, interesting. It was the le uh, the language of education, wasn't it, at the time? You know, like English now is the language of commerce. Wherever you go, it. Well, yeah. I don't know if that's still the case now, but it used to be. Yeah. It... It's Norman, not Saxon. Yes, the Norman Church. Yes. Norman Church. Yeah. Saxon over there. Did I? No, no, I would have said Norman, from the Norman Conquest. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. No, 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 no. No, it's because you're, you're doing research. I am now. You're doing research, so... It's definitely a heavy French um, influence. Yeah. You can, you, can, you can see that. I know very little about that church, actually, funnily enough. You, you it's... Know, um, between the two. I'll say, it's just... It, it's been added on to lots, hasn't it? Yeah, which yeah. is... It looks like a sort of a collection of, of like a time over time. Over time, it's bits, like other bits have been added on with their architecture changes. Yeah. St Mary's is St Mary's. Right, yeah. Uh, I bet it wasn't originally called St Mary's. I'd be surprised. Sorry. I bet it wasn't originally called St Mary's. No, um, St Mary's is a. It says it's St Mary's, not St Saviour's, so that's yeah. St Mary's Church, yeah. that's yeah. the entire church, and like it looks like a lighthouse almost, yeah. with the top that's been added on yeah. there. So, I wonder if, I wonder if St yeah. Saviour's um, Church, well, we, I wonder if St Saviour's, the ruins of St Saviour's, would have had a similar tower? No? I've never seen anything... Um, that has a picture of what St Saviour's may have looked like. I've not been able to find anything that shows that. Um, it doesn't look like it's in the same style, does it? No. no. To, to no. me, anyway. No. So, just interesting. I mean, literally, they are how far apart? Um, less than half a mile. Less than half a mile. So, um, But you can certainly see how, how parishioners, they would have said it around one church. If there's not many people living in the area yeah it wouldn't be sufficient to support two churches, churches yeah um so they would literally just neglect one um and of course when you look back at norman times the other reasons for building the churches wasn't for it was to be a keep as well yeah so they had a double a double use of course they weren't just a place of worship they were they were of course a, a castle effectively yeah and hence yeah. you hence you have some very interesting on some of the early churches some really interesting things like arrow slits and <laughs> um, <laughs> caponiers and things like that built on the side which are really once again French but you know yeah. Yeah, well French influence on you know how we build things yeah 
fantastic. It's a lovely walk, isn't it? It is. It's interesting. Yeah. I love anything where we can walk about, see something, and talk about it. Um, and you get, we get some really amazing comments. Um, most of the time it's people correcting me, but we do get some amazing comments with with input from people that, that watch our waffle. Especially people that come from the area we visited. So they will then give us a bit of more. Yeah, give us the information. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to know more. Apart from what's on the internet, you know, it's kind of, that's what's there, what's not. You know, yeah. There, there's a definitive, like, a small thing, but these are fairly insignificant churches. Yeah. When it comes to people who research churches, these two churches also, 124 round tower churches across uh, East Anglia mainly and they these are these are special churches yeah um, um and they're just fantastic they're yeah just lovely well, we said that we found out didn't we there'd been there used to be 1600 churches in Norfolk in the last 200 years 400 churches have disappeared the big question is how many pubs did they use <laughs> well I don't know <laughs> whether it was comparable yeah. um um, um, we, I just think we need Hamlet. to visit every single one. I think mean, maybe Hamlet. both. <laughs> each hamlet, as it got wealthier, I suppose, its status would have been improved by having its own church. Mm. Can I make a suggestion? Uh, 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 we move forward from here because the gnats are, are beginning to make a meal. Yeah, yeah. No, that's why I, I stepped back. So Hamish is walking a lot better with me when he's not sunk. Yeah. He's been able to have a little bit of a run. Yeah. So there you go. Fire and range in use when red flag is flying. Do not stray from the footpath. Yep, I've got that loud and clear. It's, um, you go out of the sunlight and, whoops, you go out of the sunlight and it becomes very cold. Oh, there you go. There's a firing range. Yeah. Up there. Yeah, you go out of the sunlight and it becomes very cold very quick, doesn't it? No. That wind, I guess that, didn't I? If that wind dropped, it would be a day. Yeah. And that's what we've got today. So, I, I don't know, the microphone might not be picking it up, but Lisa was saying that yesterday, um, when, the, when the wind picked up and the sun just dropped off a little bit, it became really cold. Um, and I think here, just because we're in the shade, uh, it has been very warm. Uh, and now it's not, and I've, all I've got is a t-shirt, so I'm beginning to feel the cold a little. We'll be out in the sun again. I'll be in the sun in a minute.